Garnish with nuts, enhancing your dishes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a common culinary phrase, garnish with nuts. This phrase is not only useful in cooking contexts, but also a great example of how English can be used in everyday situations. So, let's get started and dive into the delicious world of culinary phrases. First, let's break down the phrase. Garnish is a verb that means to add something to food or drink to make it look more attractive and sometimes to add a bit of extra flavor. When a recipe suggests to garnish with nuts, it means you should add nuts to the top of the dish. This is usually done after the main cooking process is complete and just before serving. It's a way to enhance the dish's appearance and sometimes its taste. There are various nuts that can be used for garnishing. Common choices include almonds, walnuts, pecans, and pistachios. Each nut brings its own unique flavor and texture to a dish. For example, almonds offer a crunchy texture and a slightly sweet taste, while walnuts have a richer, earthier flavor. Choosing the right nut can complement the main flavors of the dish. Presentation is a key aspect of cooking and dining. Garnish with nuts is not just about adding flavor, but also about making the dish more visually appealing. In many cultures, the way food is presented is almost as important as how it tastes. A well-garnished dish can enhance the overall dining experience, making the food more inviting and enjoyable. Now, Let's talk about how to effectively garnish with nuts. It's important to consider the size and type of nuts. For instance, larger nuts like walnuts may need to be chopped or crushed. Toasting nuts before garnishing can also bring out their flavor. Remember, the goal is to complement the dish, not overpower it. So, use nuts sparingly and thoughtfully. And there you have it. You now know what it means to garnish with nuts and how to use this phrase in a culinary context. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in your English language learning journey. Remember, cooking is not just about taste. It's also about presentation and the words we use to describe it. Happy cooking and see you in the next video.